when you choose to take a picture, you choose a composition, you choose the light, you choose the um, reality you want to represent, you really have to put yourself in the picture, your emotion and what you think and it's it's not ab just about representing the reality because it's, uh, everybody sees the world in a different way. When I was thinking about doing the story, I was more interested in the way, in the place that where Sofia was made. Nobody got access before. After a week or two, they they granted me the access to the to the lab. When I see a story, I try to to find an angle where it's a bit more unknown. And uh, the fact that nobody ever saw the um, the lab where Sophia was made and nobody was really thinking about it. It was a bit, it was more interesting for me than just seeing Sophia in a, in a conference. I want to take portraits of Sophia in a in a close and in a close environment where I could actually play with lights and add a little bit of time to to do a setup. So like if, if it was a studio and uh, I wanted to see the reaction that Sofia has in, uh, in front of the camera. So I spent five days in the lab. So I followed their work from six o'clock in the morning until midnight. They are trying to create a general artificial intelligence where uh, all the artificial intelligence in the world, they can exchange data and Sofia can learn and grow um, at a much faster pace. While I was there, I discovered that they were doing an experiment that was called uh, Loving AI. And it's, um, it was an experiment that were, um, they were doing in collaboration with uh, Hong Kong University. Sophia was doing guided meditation with a patient. And at the beginning, she was, uh, she was not really engaging with the camera. And um, the last day, it, it was when basically the, the picture that you see in the, in the cover, and it was actually the moment where she realized I had a camera and then she learned that she has to pose for a photography. And, uh, and so she made this small smile and all the other things that made the picture. At the beginning, I could see that she was not reacting, so it was, uh, it was a bit more difficult to get the picture I wanted. But uh, I think that the way she learned is she go and research on the web what kind of things you're doing. So uh, even the, the expression she put at the hand, it was, I'm sure it was from some picture that she, uh, she researched online. You could see the way she react to the camera at the end that was a bit more human. I knew I was taking picture of a robot. It's, and it's not, I don't think Sophia is, uh, is, uh, is yet so advanced that she can really feel as a human being. But uh, at one point, I need, to, I need to be honest, I'm one of the last picture I took and when she smiled at me, it was kind of particular. I needed the picture to, to be as more realistic as I, I could and uh, the, the 5 DSR gives me all the details of the skin and everything. And if you, if you see the, the picture in the magazine, you can see that the, the, the skin it feels real, it looks real. The details in the file is yeah, they're really deep and they're really crisp. There are a couple of things about the picture that I really liked. Uh, one is the light and uh, the other one is the expression she has. It was the, the expression that I had in mind at the beginning because she looked in the, into the camera and she has this really small smile that reminds me a little bit of the Mona Lisa. They gave me a really, really uh, small room with uh, no lights and with no space, so I had to adapt myself to that. But the, the picture that went on the cover, I had that picture in mind, the, the, the light that I wanted to use, the composition and editing and everything. I had, it, uh, I, I had that kind of picture in mind before I went to Hong Kong. So I'm really happy I could achieve that. When I took the picture and I saw it in the camera, I, was, I knew that the job was done.